Cairns is home to two World Heritage listed sites, the Great Barrier Reef and the Wet Tropics Rainforest. It is a tourism mecca, a bucket list destination for many. There is something for everyone, whether that's scuba diving, hiking, learning about the local wildlife, adrenaline sports, gourmet food tours, or simply relaxing in paradise. The region also offers many study options to those pursuing a career in tourism. Tourism is the main economic driver in the region and the number one employer, with one in five people working in the industry. I'm Ben Woodward, the Director of Sales and Marketing for the Capta Group. The Capta Group is a family owned and operated business that was started up by my parents over 40 years ago and we operate several tours and attractions in the Cairns and Great Barrier Reef region. So we have here the Cairns Zoom and Wildlife Dome, which is right in the centre of town on the roof of the casino. We also have the Australian Butterfly Sanctuary and Rainforest Station Nature Park in Caranda and we also have the Wildlife Habitat in Port Douglas, as well as Tropic Wings Coach Tours and Charters and Jungle Tours and Trekking. What I really love about the tourism industry is showcasing this fantastic region that we have. So I think what's so unique about Cairns is we really are quite a cosmopolitan city for its size. We do have a lot of great restaurants here on offer, a lot of diversity and different things to do here too. Obviously a great offering for tourists who are visiting our region, but also for conference delegates who are coming here for that work capacity as well. My name is Dr. Anja Pabel. I am a lecturer in tourism at Central Queensland University. So right now a really interesting research project that I'm involved in is looking at making the tourism industry more dementia friendly or dementia inclusive. And so we're actually conducting interviews with people with dementia and what are their specific travel needs when they're actually visiting other destinations, um, not just Cairns, but other destinations. And so we're hoping to actually provide a guideline document for the industry that will provide some information on how to make the tourism industry, or like specifically like airports or train stations, more dementia friendly. It's very multidisciplinary, as in, you know, it looks at the problem from different point of views, and hopefully it will create some good solutions. So my name's Michelle Thompson and I'm a lecturer in tourism at Central Queensland University. Part of my role at CQU is uh, working with up and coming students and getting them kick-started in their careers to then look at more sustainable management options when it comes to tourism businesses and the industry more broadly. Another part of my role is in research and I've got great interest in looking at different issues in the Cairns region and being able to take my research and apply that to things like agritourism, in the drive tourism market uh, and food tourism as well. We're really trying to get a better understanding of who the drive tourists are, what they mean um, to the communities also that they're visiting in terms of their uh, social connections but also economic benefits as well. The Cairns region really excels in tourism when it comes to our nature-based uh, attractions, very much around looking at the conservation and the preservation of our Great Barrier Reef, our wet tropics rainforests, but in addition to that we've got a tropical city lifestyle set against a natural backdrop that's got two world heritage areas. In it and that's something that you get the best of both worlds. You get open areas and space and green landscapes and you've got you know blue seas but on top of that you've got a really enjoyable city space that has little areas of interest that can keep people in it to entertain people like our lagoon spaces, our arts galleries, our cafes and restaurants and just the little points of interest along the way that people of all ages can enjoy. <laughs>